here in Tallahassee. No score. Second, Stuart Tapley to lead it off for the Knowles. Let's go back eight years. Listen to this. My name is Stuart Tapley. My favorite pro baseball player is Derek Jeter. <laughs> August of 2001, United States Championship game. Stuart Tapley, the leadoff hitter and starting pitcher for the Apopka, Florida Little League team. And they beat the team from the East Bronx in that title game. Uh, they lost two to one to a team from Japan in the finals. Uh, here's a little side note for you. Danny Almonte, remember him, that controversial figure? He was on that Bronx team. He did not pitch in the U.S. championship game. He had pitched the day before, but remember that kerfuffle? Uh, he was. I don't know if I've ever heard it called that. He was 14 I years do. old. And what, what, what's the age cutoff? Is it 12? Yeah. So he was. Well, a yeah, he old. turned 13, I think, in August, but that's. That had to be a neat, neat experience. That's a fun tournament to follow. Now here's Tapley all grown up. Playing for the Seminoles in the NCAA tournament. Tapley was a freshman All-American last year. Who has put together a solid season here in his sophomore campaign. Hitting over 300, 13 bombs and 55 driven in. Called strike there, it's two and two. Tapley didn't like it. This Florida State team has five starters hitting over 300, and has a team hitting 312. Back off the facade, foul. Now the road to Omaha continues at ESPNU. San Diego State and Virginia right now on ESPN Classic and the four seed Fresno State and UC Irvine. Look out toward the gap and it's going to get down for extra bases for Tapley. He'll cruise into second base with a lead off double and he hit it to the deepest part of the park. Well you can tell too you get at night that flag's not even move out in center field. The ball's not going to fly like it was earlier today. This ball cut up in the left center field. And just died because off the bat it looked like it might have a chance. I think Tapley knew. And you play here enough, you know you hit it if that part's of the ballpark, I and mean, you got to get everything to get it out. But still, good swing by Tapley. Leadoff double here for the Knowles in the second. So Tapley's on for Tommy Orovitz, the Knowles designated hitter and team captain. Orovitz came into the season as the everyday starter at second base, but he has settled into a regular designated hitter role. And his hitting has really come around in recent weeks. Pickoff moved to second, not in time, although Carrillo was lurking there, got the tag down quickly, just missed. That was pretty close. Kind of snuck in behind and popped that tag down. It's perfectly timed and it's a little daylight move. Most of the time it's a daylight move out at second base here at shortstop. The minute you see it though, shortstop daylight move, that's when you spin and throw. Orovitz showing bunt. It's a ball and a strike. You see the numbers now on Orovitz. He was hitting 218 just three weeks ago. But five home runs in the month of May, including a two run shot against Miami's Chris Hernandez in the ACC tournament. And now he's hitting around. 267, so not too bad. Getting hot at the right time. Bottom of the second inning as we're coming up on 10 o'clock here on the East Coast. A game that was supposed to start at 4 o'clock Eastern time today in foul ground. The catcher Bryce Nugent is over and runs out of room. There was a weather delay in game one of this regional between Ohio State and Georgia. The Bulldogs won it convincingly 24 to 8. But in the fifth inning, lightning started shooting out of the sky. The sky opened up for about 20 minutes of hard rain. And for five hours and change, everything was put on hold, mostly because of the lightning. The rain stopped oh, somewhere around 2 o'clock. So we're going to miss. 
Pitts sitting down here as Orovitz one away. Well, most of the time left on left if a guy throws an off speed pitch it's going to be a break of all not this time though it's a change up and I like the choice by Rickards one of his best pitches is that change up and just because a guy's left handed doesn't mean you need to go away from what you're best at but Rickards is throwing the change up in any spot this time you can see that down movement just under the bat of Orovitz. One out for Jack Posey. Strike is into the sophomore first baseman for Florida State. And you recognize the last name, I'm sure. Jack is the younger brother of Buster Posey, one of the greatest players in FSU history, now in Class A, He's playing in the Giants system. And Jack is down 0 2. We're at the Tallahassee Regional for Marist, one seed Florida State. Alongside Kyle Peterson, I'm Clay Matford. We're at Dick Hauser Stadium. Beautiful facility here on the Florida State campus. And it has been home to the Seminoles since 1983. Dick Hauser, FSU's first All American back in 1957. The stadium named after him. Swing and a miss. Back to back strikeouts as Rickards gets posing. Impressive right there. Throw a couple fastballs inside. One of the things that Dennis Healy said about Rickards is he loves to throw the fastball inside, particular, particularly to right-handers. And this time he set up this pitch. Fastball in, fastball in, gives you more room away. And see a little run in that two-seam fastball out away from Posey. Three strikeouts now for Rickards. Brings up Rory O'Connor. O'Connor, a 50 year senior, getting the start in right field tonight for the Seminoles. The River Forest, Illinois native, that's uh, near Chicago. And he drives it to right field. Off the wall. Kyle Meyer can't make the play out there. A run comes in, and Rory O'Connor with an RBI double. how you win over 1500 games and that's just playing instincts at the right time a fifth year senior that comes in hitting below 200 but Mike Martin puts him in the starting lineup takes a swing like this a two out double the other way scores Stuart Tapley who started the inning off with a double and it's a good spot to have a fifth year senior and you know he's not going to be wowed by the situation that ball was ripped to right field. So the Knolls out to the one nothing lead that brings up the number nine hitter Rafael Lopez. Rafi's a converted infielder who's done a nice job behind the plate. I'll tell you that he's still learning how to catch. But Mike Martin likes his arm and the leg they like the way he handles the bat too so they've got him in the lineup. And he has done a nice job here in his sophomore year. 1 1 pitch. A whirly bird move again from Rickards. Lopez started his career at Boston College, but he's a Florida kid. So one day he woke up, I'm sure, and he said, What the heck am I doing up here in the cold? And he transferred out of there. Ground ball to second. That's going to do it for Florida State. But they're on the board in the bottom of the second. An RBI double from Rory O'Connor, and the Knowles have the 1 to nothing lead after two.